We all know that diabetes can be tricky. I mean, sometimes I feel like I do everything right, but there is just so much that affects blood sugar. Exercise! If your insulin went bad, how long you've had the same set in? Emotions. Happy! Nervous. Sad. Excited! Angry. Fast acting carbs. Slow acting carbs. Um, <laughs> it's that time of the month. Sickness. <laughs> Elevation. Temperature outside. How much you're using your brain? During finals week, I go low from studying. How long you've been sleeping? Long car rides. Having to guess the carbs in unlabeled food. And so much more. Literally, I feel like everything affects my blood sugar. And this can be frustrating because sometimes I feel like I do everything right. I count my carbs, I calculate my insulin and check my blood sugar, correct accordingly, and I still get wacky numbers. And I just wanted to let you guys know that sometimes you really can do everything right and still get a number you didn't expect. Whether that's a number in the 400s or an unexpected low, it's equally frustrating when it's out of nowhere. So I usually try to figure out what happened, and I'll go through the list I just gave you and like try to figure out, like, did I exercise a lot more today? Did I eat food that wasn't labeled and I had to guess? And sometimes, nothing was different. Sometimes there's unexplained lows, and sometimes there's unexplained highs. Your body is a very complex and intricate thing, and you just can't always fine-tune it like that. So if this happens to you, and you get a number out of the blue that you did not expect, I would just say not to worry about it, because it really does happen to all of us. And it's not going to be the end of the world. Just try to fix it and move on. Because sometimes you really do do everything right. And you get a wacky blood sugar. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. So, uh, I don't know. It'd be cool if you subscribed. That'd be kind of a good idea. If you want to. Like, no pressure. But, no. That'd be cool. Diabetic high five.